Welcome to Service Now. Dear me, three to six months. Watch how I make you proud. Hello there, my name is Xavier, and this is Tech Xavier, where I help me help you go further in tech. Video is part of a larger series where I am actively working towards getting my technical architect certification from ServiceNow. And in the process, I thought it might not be a bad idea to go back and revisit some of the courses that I've taken in the past, as well as some new ones that ServiceNow is offering. If you want to learn more about career journey, I do have a video on that. You could check it through the link above. And we're going to quickly cycle through how to navigate to the Welcome to ServiceNow course, and then we'll go over what the course is about, and I'll break down some of the different modules it has to offer and connect that to what you can expect on the job or how this information can benefit you when you are trying to get settled into a new role. So here I am on the Now Learning website. You come to this page and you can go ahead and select the view journey button next to the system administrator tile and it'll navigate us to the system administrator career journey. There are three levels for a system administrator career journey path and I'm currently working through the associate system administrator. Let's click on view details here and it's going to bring us to an overview of the page and you can just pause this and read it on your own but it just basically says welcome to the entry level career journey. And as you see here on the bottom, we're gonna click where it says see all contents in green. Now I can navigate through the courses. Now let's click on the Welcome to ServiceNow course. As you can see, I have already completed this course. So I'm gonna go through all the different modules and activities here on the left side, and we'll talk about what you can expect. I wanna give you a breakdown as to how many lessons and modules you have. So in terms of modules, there are seven modules and they're all listed here on the left. And then there's a total of 15 lessons or tasks that you have to go through. All right. So with that out the way, let's go ahead and look at the first section. Once you click on that link, it should bring you to a page like this. And basically it's just a quick overview of what you can expect with the course. So they mentioned here that the course is for everyone. And I truly really believe that this is a great introduction into all the capabilities within ServiceNow, getting to know who created this platform, what it's used for, and how users can experience it. You will be introduced to quite a few different modules. So if we start at the top here, there's the course overview, which we're looking at now, yeah, the plat platform overview, the next experience navigation and access, list and filters, forms, tasks. We have reporting, knowledge management, service catalog, virtual agent, and then additional resources. And then what are some next steps you can take as part of this ongoing series? There are gonna be tons of hands-on practice that you'll get. And when you see screens like these, they have a now you try it. This is like a, a lightweight simulator or Figma page where when you click on any of these items here. So for example, if I clicked on, I think all, this is taking me to that specific module and it'll do a transition, almost like a PowerPoint to the next option you would see on the screen. If you were using the actual instance, there are knowledge checks. It says at the end of each course, you will see knowledge checks where you can test what you've learned from the different lessons. These are for you. You can take them multiple times or skip them. You're not required to fill these out or complete them, but it would be a good introductory test for you because everything that you're going to learn after this on your journey will be built on everything you've committed to memory here. They have guided simulators and you can perform different tasks within the simulator and you'll validate that task in order to move on. And then they move on to the next topic, the service platform overview. This is the platform overview. So ServiceNow is what you call a platform as a service. It's one big platform, and then layered underneath that are products that are part of different workflows. And the person that created all this is Fred Luddy. He is the founder of ServiceNow. And then who you may see in the news quite often is Bill McDermott. He is the CEO of ServiceNow. Those are the two gentlemen you'll learn about. 
And then you'll also learn about the ServiceNow platform capabilities and services. This term will come up quite a bit, so get familiar with capabilities and services. They have some activities that you can go through to deepen your understanding of what the platform has to offer. And then here are the workflows that I was speaking of. So I'll try to zoom in so you can see them. So we have T workflows and let me get myself out the way so you can see. We have employee workflows and then we have customer workflows and then creator workflows. And this all exists in the ServiceNow platform. And underneath each of these workflows are different products that ServiceNow has to offer that people can purchase in either a bundle or as an individual product. Then it goes on to talk about the different interfaces. So they had the next experience and this next experience was released with the San Diego version of ServiceNow. They have now mobile, you have the service portal, employee center. Then it talks about the ServiceNow instance and I won't give too much away so you can explore the rest of this course, but this is a nice overview in terms of answering that question, what is ServiceNow? Next, we'll go through the rest of these modules and I'll try to go through them fairly quickly, but give you get an overview of what you can learn here and then how this can benefit you if you wanna drill down on any of these other aspects in any future learnings. Well, the first one is going to be the next experience. As you can see, there's a lesson here, there's some instance help, and then a task that you can complete. Now with the next experience, the navigation and access module, this is really gonna cover just how you navigate the platforms. And this is gonna be really important for you, especially as a system administrator, because you have to know how to navigate these environments that you create. So there are different dashboards, there's different workspaces, so all these different views that different types of users see. And you are the one that's gonna be charged with configuring those views so that that user can get the best experience possible. Next is lists and filters. So if you see where my cursor is, there are two lessons. One is an actual lesson, the other one is a task. Now in the lesson, you're gonna go over things like how to filter options on a list, how to create the lists, how to change the list views. And this is something that is really important when uh, someone may be working like incidents or they have records that they need to work or review. How that information is displayed is really important. And then what options do they have in order to filter through the information based off of the configurations you set up? So what different views are available? What can they do to customize things? Can they add fields, remove fields? Think of this as a really easy to navigate Excel workbook that's already pre-configured and ready for you to explore. This is important because different teams and users will need to have access to different list views, and they'll also need to know how to customize their own view based on their own preferences and you may have to set some base configurations for that to happen. The next thing we have are forms and forms behave more or less the same no matter who is accessing them. And so understanding how users can personalize forms and what things can be set to mandatory or optional really help to drive the information that's populated on the previous module, which are list. So this section just goes over in different layouts ways to hide or make certain things visible, and then ways in which to set things as mandatory or optional. Again, it doesn't go too in depth, but it's a nice overview for those different features within the platform. Next up, we have tasks. So if I'm a requester, let's say I'm a manager who is asking for some hardware for my new employee, when I create a request, it's gonna come up on the back end and will break out into different tasks depending on all the different stops it needs to make in order to get fulfilled. So someone's requesting hardware, it may need to be ordered. That might be one group that does the ordering. Then once it's ordered and confirmed, then maybe another team receives it and marks it as received. And then that received item uh, from the warehouse gets shipped to the location where the employee is working. And then perhaps there's another support team that goes in, unboxes everything, checks the components, sets everything up and confirms that the user is ready to go. So it may go through those various three or four stages I mentioned. And as they're going through those stages, each task is presented to different people that fulfill it along the way. And that information is also presented to the end user as like a stage complete. There's a checkbox next to each stage that's been completed. 
and then they know it's been delivered and they can give it the final write off saying, yeah, we got what we needed to get. Next up, you have reporting and reporting is going to be what you are asked about almost daily, maybe to start when you're implementing ServiceNow. People want to see what information is available to them. What reports can they generate? What frequency can they send those reports to each other at or to send themselves? What types of graphs are available to display and model the data? And data is really important. It helps drive an organization. It helps different executives make decisions or more informed decisions. And your job as the system administrator is going to be, how do I present this information in a way that's clear? So next, we have knowledge management. Now, this was actually what I got excited about ServiceNow for because there's nothing that beats what ServiceNow has to offer. And knowledge is one of those things that, depending on how your organization is run, some things are really open and everyone knows it and everyone knows how to get information about it. And then there are other things that are just like only a select few people know this stuff. And you want to encourage the sharing of information because silos don't help anyone. The minute someone retires or gets sick or just decides they're not going to be a team player, now you are stuck and you can't uh, get access to information. So knowledge management is really critical. And especially for IT, knowledge management is a couple different things. It's how do I troubleshoot something? How do I fix it? How do I repair something physically? Who do I reach out to in terms of the vendor contact to get information on this leased hardware? And then what are our governance protocols when it comes to giving someone access to some licensed product? So knowledge bases can be created and then they can be exposed to different people based off of certain roles. And you'll learn about all those things throughout this module. And moving down, we have the service catalog module. And just like any other catalog, it's somewhere you go to order stuff. And this ordering can be using a physical cart. It can be a record producer. And it could be some self-service content item or form, like we talked about earlier, that people fill out and then it gets submitted as a request to the fulfillment team. So understanding how to navigate the catalog, what someone can see, how those things are controlled at a very high level is really important. And this comes in handy because everyone wants to have those services clearly listed, clearly accessible, and get some assurance that they can see what's in the queue and what's pending and if they can add someone to a watch list and all that good stuff. Last but not least in terms of true learning modules is a virtual agent. And virtual agent is really cool because you think of it like a chat bot, right? All that stuff really is made possible when you complete these other modules. So when you're implementing ServiceNow and you're doing more advanced work on the platform, all that information you capture and all these different capabilities you turn on will help enhance virtual agent so that it can do what it needs to do in order to minimize calls, minimize interactions, and in encourage end users to do a lot more self-service. All right. And finally, we have the welcome to service now course summary. So I'll go ahead and open this up. They do have some additional resources that you can explore. It talks about now learning, it talks about the now product documentation the website, knowledge conferences. I went to knowledge 2023. It was awesome. You have the ServiceNow community, and these are just some good resources to explore. Now I will tell you <laughs> when you're studying for a certification, this is going to play a huge role. There are a lot of things that you learn along the way. And then there's this little informational green link somewhere that says, Hey, click for more information. You might want to click on it to explore it, to see what else is involved and that's going to lead you generally to the documentation page where you can find more information and then the community page if i scroll back down here community page is really good because sometimes as good as the documentation is for service now it can be a little wordy or sometimes there's not enough pictures or enough context for what you are trying to do and more often than not there's someone who has tried something similar to what you're doing and based on some additional context that you can provide you can get a more specific answer that you're looking for to turn on a feature or to make something happen or discover what's actually out of the box with ServiceNow. So community is definitely a second resource that you'll find very useful. And I have videos on both of these in the playlists. You can click on the playlist and you'll find videos where I'm exploring both of those resources. 
All right, so that wraps up today's video. If you found this information helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. I think you'll find my content very interesting. I'm not a guru. I'm just a guy who's trying to learn this stuff just like you are. But I know that everyone has their own learning curve and everyone has their own, just to put it plainly, anxieties around learning technical things. Understanding this platform as a service and then some of the underlying frameworks will really help you feel more confident about the execution of service delivery, especially within IT. As always, thank you for watching and remember that this stuff can be difficult to learn. So promise me that you won't be hard on yourself. You just work hard on yourself, work hard on creating systems, asking for help, following content like mine, shameless plug, and just being part of the community. Ask questions, be empowered. Just keep going, keep growing. You got this. And thank you for watching. My name is Xavier. This is Tech Xavier. And I will see you in the next episode. Peace. Dear me, three to six months, watch how I make you proud.